Andreas, what's special about the SSI Shepherds software portfolio and services? Yeah, uh, really special and very special is that we uh, are following a so-called dual strategy with our IT products. On the one hand, we have a very strong and decent warehouse management system and material flow system called VAMAS. And on the other hand, we are also using SAP uh, EWM as a market standard uh, because the needs are there and we want to follow that accordingly. So, and this gives us a lot of flexibility for the usage of that specific products in our automation pr uh, projects as well as in the so-called enterprise projects which are projects mainly manual systems a little bit semi-automatical and not to forgotten uh, after sales service and support belongs to that as well and why should the customer choose software from SSI Sheffer? It's because we are uh, really the integrator of our material uh, handling equipment and uh, we have a so-called vertical integration from the PLC level, from the sensors and actuators up to the ERP level, the enterprise resource planning systems of the customers. So we are involved from the beginning, from the planning phase over realization and the commissioning on site, uh, also during optimization and the ramp up. So we are involved in every step and every phase of a project and we know each other, we know the interfaces and we ensure really that the flow of information is really constant and brings the effect the customer wants to have with the solution we provide to him. Where do you see the future of logistics software? Yeah, I see mainly three topics which are really uh, very interesting and are heavily discussed at the moment. Uh, in, the, in the IT logistics community. So the first thing is the last mile. So the last mile to uh, really bring the goods to the door of our customers in a highly automatic way. So artificial intelligence, very important because we have a flood of data with our systems. We produce lots of lots of data and we have to select the right ones for uh, transparency and for predictive information, for instance. And uh, the third thing is uh, blockchain, I want to mention, because uh, blockchain is very interesting to ensure really uh, that our data are secure. Andres, software as a brain of intralogistic processes, how will the intralogistic solutions change? Yeah, the intralogistic solutions uh, change very often indeed. So it's because of uh, the business processes of our customers and their customers uh, change very quickly. Uh, you have seen this in the e-commerce boom in the last couple of years. So this will go further and further. And we have to uh, ensure with our IT solution that uh, this change in processes and change in the supply chain uh, can be done very easily by only configuring our systems. So we don't have simply the time for having a software development and uh, uh, programming some things additionally to, to this and to the customer's needs. No, we have to have a, a set of modules, we have to pick the modules, we have to select it correctly and uh, have to configure to the customer's needs. Andreas, and why are you so passionate about software solutions? Yeah, logistics, uh, logistics IT in particular is, is a wide and interesting field. So with all the market sectors we serve uh, from healthcare cosmetics uh, over food and beverage to the all retail business, I think we have a wide variety of, uh, of customer requirements, but also restrictions, which makes it uh, really attractive to me. And one thing uh, should be said which is uh, when I remember and remind some years ago when I started my career, I managed uh, projects uh, with a plain sheet of paper and a sharp pencil. And that's all. So we didn't have that fancy computers as uh, the guys have today. So the tools changed, but one thing remains or remained the same. And this is uh, at least project business is people business. And this is what attracts me to work with the people, the people in our organization in Schaefer, but also in especially to work with the customer. 
Fantastic. Thank you so much, Andreas.